Don't mind my holy gloves. I do it with a lot of gloves. Is she hard to get to drop her head? Used to be until I got a new bit. Both sides really bilaterally. She's tender. She's real tender over that head. She still rides kind of high headed and uh -huh. regular. Well, just looking at her, kind of eyeing her up. She invert what we call inverts her frame. She kind of wants to suck her back down a little bit and get that head up. See how her neck kind of bubbles out there. I call it turkey neck. It's not a not a technical term. It's just something. It reminds me of a turkey. <laughs> so I call it turkey neck. It's just where she's actually kind of build up muscle from sucking her back down and then kind of arching away from the saddle. Up on the left in her atlas, she can be rotated or pronated. She's rotated and she just slightly pronated in over here on the right side. Left side of her neck feels pretty good, but right side is the side she really wants to move over to. So left must be her stronger. Nope, her right. She is a right horse. She's a right side. Well, she this is her. This is the way everything's going. So that's the side that's pushed, pushed to there. So she's going to try and compensate with that side. And I'm riding her. All she wants to do is pick up the right leg. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Dave. Do you know? Now, shoulders can be out, up, or forward, or a combination of. Left shoulder is the one that's out. She's just a hair forward on that left side. Knees are pretty level. Feet look really good up through there, so that's really not an issue. About, and I don't know the exact percentage, but they say about 80% of the time, the side that their hair goes to is their best side. Just a little tidbit for nothingness, but <laughs> just a little piece of information. That, it's on the right. And that's her right. Nine times out of ten, it holds true. I mean, every once in a while, you get a horse that kind of throws you a curveball, you know, and doesn't do anything like what we think they should. I didn't get my mini in her hands. Yeah. <laughs> well, then you have that, yeah. Then you can't even tell which side they go, but that's just something that a lot of those years. Okay. As far as her spine goes, again, she really moves a lot to the right. She's kind of moved over that right side, so that's the side she's really kind of pushing to work a little bit harder. Oh yes, it's not too bad though. I've had far worse. <laughs> They're all starting to shed. It's that time of year. It's so Pelvis goes, and even her sacrum, femur is still really good back through here. This is nice and level. Even her sacrum up on the right side. So she just has a lot, a lot of stuff. I'll let, you know, and like I said, even seeing her move last year, this is the kind of stuff I would expect, really. So I think she'll do really well, really well with adjustment. She might be a little tender for a day or two, but nothing, nothing too serious. I would like to maybe check her saddle fit too when I'm done adjusting her. Don't let me forget. Because <laughs> I will forget. Um, we are actually borrowing this saddle. Okay. So. But is it the one you use yes. like religiously? Mm -hmm. Well, let's. We don't need the pad or anything, but let's check the fit. Because she doesn't look to me like she'll be a really hard horse to fit, which is good. She's not super wide, have these monsters. <laughs> really? You can't find anything. Because, I mean, you're not a big person, and she, you know, she is kind of tall in those withers, but she's kind of, I wouldn't call her slab-sided, but she's got got a pointy wither, <laughs> and she's 
she's got a little bit of a scapula there, but some of these big broad horses, those are the ones we really play with. She doesn't look difficult to fit, but maybe depending on what you've tried on or just hasn't been a good. We have six saddles. I'm not really sure why you'd be afraid of bushes and gates, but like I said, he might have gotten bitten by a gate at one point or by a, know. By a bush. Something jumped out of a bush one time and scared him and that was the end. Oh, pumpkin, I know. It'll get better, I promise. She's like, lady, what the heck? All we're doing is moving these vertebrae. They can move left to right. They can twist a little bit sometimes too, but she doesn't have anything like that. Adjusted once since we've had her, so. Well, she's new. It sounds like you do a lot, which is great. But life happens. This is normal kind of stuff. This, everything kind of corresponds with what you're saying. Everything that she's doing corresponds with the misalignment that she has. It's not like she's completely one sided, like she's fallen down or had a, had a bad wreck. He didn't drag her behind the trailer lately or anything like that. No, have you had that before? <laughs> <laughs> I've had him fall off the trailer, not oh. personally, but I've worked on And I don't know how many times over the years I've gotten called for horses that have been hit by a car. So you would think that would be a instant death sentence, which sometimes it is, but... Mine's been down by the road and hit by it, though. Yeah, well, let's, <laughs> let's try and keep her from getting hit by a car. That would be in her best interest. <laughs> Not to be run over by a car. But you know, we're in Amish Mecca. When you decide to leap the fence, you can't really mm. change your mind that way. Right? Are you in a sleep or No, my switch cut me off from the fence and I had to leave them. So what all do you do in Yeda? The ranch riding? Um, this is my first year in it, so uh -huh. I just am doing the horsemanship. And she's lucky, she doesn't have to go. <laughs> These are her weekends at the break. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to go ride other horses, don't you? Yeah. We didn't have that stuff when I was younger. We had the, we could open show and we had 4-H. That was about it. There wasn't a whole lot in the way of choices. Now you guys have IEA and IHSA and all these letters that I can't remember what they stand for all the time. Have you ever done a Clydesdale? Uh-huh. I had a Belgian stallion yesterday. I see a lot of draft this time of year. Because they're getting back to work or they're starting to breathe. How do you do those things with Oh, same way, really. They're not always that much harder to do. They're just heavier. <laughs> and sometimes the angle that you have to put yourself in to get them adjusted can be a little, can be a little tricky. Because their hip might be up here. 
pushed the one yesterday. He wasn't at it, so he's probably pushing 17 hands. That's definitely not the biggest. Let's see. 19.5 we rescued from Sugar Creek. Are you kidding? 19.5. Oh, I'd need a stool for that. <laughs> and get to the point where I can't feel can't feel their back at all because when they're so can, tall. When you can swing his head over top of my bag, then he's pretty yeah, tall. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Now, what did you guys do with him? Just we, kept him and... We kept him for a while. Did he, get, was, did he, he, was he in here? He was, oh, we didn't have all this. This has only been in here for like a year. Oh, so he had cellulitis really bad in his oh, leg. Yeah. So we got him back to where we put a lot of weight on him because he was skin and bone. Of course. And he was doing good with his leg. Uh -huh. And then we're like, he's to his point, so we sold him to a vet tech uh -huh. down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Okay. And he was running and doing fine, but one day uh, she came out and he broke his leg. Oh. Poor guy. It, it was more we gifted it to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there just wasn't anything else that we could do with our, right. our limited knowledge of the situation. Well, and, sure. Um, well, you know, and they're, not only are they bigger, but when you get big like that, they're that much more expensive to have and keep. You know, they're cool to look at, but wow, they take some serious, serious groceries. <laughs> Thank you. 